All right, people, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another Gore's Recent Game Pickups video. And it is a good day because I got a ton of stuff to show for many different consoles. I got DS games, I got PS3 games, PS4 games, Xbox games, PS2 games, uh, Xbox 360 games, uh, Wii games. I got, I got anything. I got Funko Pops, I got Game Boy games, I got book. Uh, I say book. There's only one book. <laughs> I don't got books. I got book. I got one book to show you. I even got a holder for a game. A thing that carries a game. A carry case, not holder. Wh whatever. Uh, and this is the last episode uh, where we will have double digits. No, this is the last episode, period. I'm done. No. Last episode with double digits. Next episode is, of course, episode 100. What does that mean? means I have to type an extra character in the title because literally nothing's changing. So, <laughs> but it's going to be a good episode to end the uh, first, I guess, 100 episodes, even though the next one's 100. Whatever. Anyway, uh, so it's going to be a big episode. Sorry for all the, the scruffy look. Uh, I haven't gotten around to shaving yet, so I got like very big patches and stuff. Um, and there's still no uh, <laughs> no barber shops open, so no hair cutty. Um, so I look scruffy. But, you know, this is perfect. I mean, this is what you should look like during a pandemic. Right here. Fat, unshaven, unwashed. This is perfect. The perfect man. That's me. Anyway, uh, let's get to it. I don't even know where to start. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. There's going to be uh, there's gonna be some stuff I already sold. So, uh, I yet, like, about a week ago, I recorded a video where I just showed a bunch of stuff off. Uh, that I was getting ready to ship out, but I wasn't ready to actually do a Gore's Recent Game Pickups. So I did a video that I will add somewhere into this uh, video where I show you the stuff that I already sold and is already gone. Um, it'll make sense once it comes up, you know. Just a little video where I show off some stuff just so I could show it off so people won't be like, oh, well, I'm just, I have to take your word for it. No, you don't have to because... Here's a video of me having this stuff before I actually sent it off. Um, I made that video like a week ago too. So, you know what? Let's start off with um, me taking a swig. Because I'm already at that point. <laughs> mm. Alright, let's get to it. Let's start off with some Funko Pops. Because everybody loves Funko Pops. Nobody in the world hates Funko Pops. That's a, that's a fact, actually. So anyway, uh, I'm going to start off uh, with them because... I don't want to get them out of the way. Uh, but these are really sweet. I love these Funko Pops. If you do not know, I'm a huge fan of Overwatch. So I have to get pretty much all the Overwatch Funko Pops. At this point, I think I'm only missing like a couple characters. Like Winston, I know I'm missing. I don't even know who else I'm missing. I mean, that might be the only character besides the ones they haven't released yet. Um, like uh, Echo. and uh, They haven't released a... Um, who was right before Echo? Uh, 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 Sigma. They haven't released a Sigma one yet. But anyway, uh, got my boy Bob. Look at Bob. He looks so good. You know what? If you, if I didn't know what Funko Pops were, or if I did, but I didn't collect them, um, I look at this, I'd be like, whoa, that's a really nice little figure of just Bob. It's just a figure. It's not a Funko Pop. I got this for nine bucks. This thing's awesome. He has the sign, Route 66. Um, the only thing that make it look like a Funko Pop is the eyes, but that's what Bob's eyes look like anyway, so it kind of fits. And look at the detail. Look at the paint job. Look at, look at his vest. Hell yeah, man. Look how good that looks. Um, but of course I had to get an Ash. Uh, I don't have Ash, so I had to get her. And I decided, you know what, let me get one of those exclusive, like, rarer ones, I guess. And this was like a Black Friday, like, exclusive, so I got it. Uh, it's this blue one. Uh, it does come with a stand, but the stand, I'm not even gonna lie. Where is it? It's right here. It sucks balls, because once I put her on this, this little stand, she kind of leans like that. Like, she leans kind of like this. And when she's on a stand, that's what she, she kind of looks like. Which is kind of like the cowboy thing, right? You have the hat like this. You can barely see the face. But it's, I don't know, it just doesn't look right. So I have to figure out something about that. But that one cost me like $14. So <laughs> I spent way more than I wanted to. But to be fair, the Ash Funko Pop regular cost like 12 bucks. So for a couple extra dollars, I got that one. Uh, the blue looks kind of, it looks okay. I just wanted to get like a special version of her. But, uh. Anyway, that one looks more like a Funko Pop, obviously. But uh, the little details in her costume. Like, I'm actually very impressed by some of the little details. It's really nice. Um, I know my camera's not that good in 1080p. 
to get a uh, a close up of little details. Uh, I might be getting a new camera soon. Just heads up on that one. That might happen. That might happen. Anyway, uh, all right. Now let's get to games. Get this shit out of the way. All right. This is gonna be a very discombobulated uh, episode because I have a lot of stuff from a lot of different places. Because if you do not know, I'm actually using. Uh, how do you pronounce it? Mer I'd say Mercury. I know it's not spelled that way, but I always call it that. Macari, I guess. Macari. I use Macari a lot now. Um, I used to use it, but I never found anything really great. And it was always one of those things where, like, if you don't put it so you have, like, a, a, a special way to search for games, then you'll be disappointed a lot because you'll be like, oh, cool, something good. And you click it and it says sold, even though it didn't just say sold. So you'll be like... It's really annoying, but if you don't have a, like a special way to search for video games, you'll be left disappointed a lot. But anyway, let's get to some games. Uh, first one, I got this on offer up for five bucks. House of the Dead one, nope, two and three can't read. Um, House of the Dead two and three returns. It's like a twenty dollar game. I'm gonna actually keep this one, even though I don't really collect for Wii. Um, that's not true. I do collect for Wii. I just want to collect all the good ones. You know, I don't want no no stupid ass. Uh, um, Filler titles and shovelware. Good stuff. So House of the Dead 2 and 3. That's good stuff in my opinion. Uh, this one I actually got from Makari. This was a, a uh, I think $10 plus $3 shipping. Uh, that's Indiana Jones 2, the original adventures. This is Lego Indiana Jones obviously. Uh, and this is factory sealed baby. I love anything that's factory sealed. Even garbage. And look at that. That's the first of a few games that will be factory sealed. Just letting you know. Um, all right, let's go on to one of my lots. This is a, this was a big lot that I got. Um, should I go to this? You know what? No, we're not gonna go to it yet. I want to wait a little bit because I do want to intersperse that old that video I made last week in here somewhere, and I want to wait a little bit so it has a little bit more context. All right, so let's let's do this instead. I, I picked this up for fifteen bucks on offer up. This is Mega Man Star Force Two Zerker X. Sarion, fuck if I know. Uh, <laughs> there you go. That is that is that. It's like a thirty-five dollar game. So for fifteen, that's pretty good. It is complete. I'll probably keep that. Honestly, uh, not too sure, but I think I will. I do collect uh, DS games. Next is an RDS game, Okami Den. This one I'm definitely keeping. I've been wanting this one in my collection. It's like a thirty dollar game. I got it for I believe like ten bucks. So oh no, it was thirteen bucks plus shipping. So it's like 16 all together. And that is complete. So there you go. Another one at the collection. Uh, all right. So, all right. Let me move this around. See, I already messed up. I have to have this. I have to have this here and this, this here. Okay. All right. So another Mark, Mark, Markery, <laughs> Macari, whatever it's called, um, bundle I got was a, a PS4 bundle, kind of. It was. Mostly PS4 games and a Blu-ray. So three blue uh, PS4s and a Blu-ray, um, which was a really good one. I spent twenty bucks on this uh, this bundle, and I already tell you right now, I sold two of these games, and I need to ship them out soon because I just sold them and I need to ship them out. That's why I'm kind of doing this video today because I need to ship out some of this stuff. Uh, first is Call of Duty World War II. I sold that. It is complete, by the way. I guess I should show that. Uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I sold this and Call of Duty World War II combined as a bundle. I think I sold it for 20 bucks. So right there, that's my money back for these two. I already have those on Xbox. And the other PS4 game, and this one I could sell for easy like 25 bucks. Red Dead Redemption 2, which of course is my favorite game of 2018. My personal favorite game of 2018. Uh, and the last thing I got from that bundle was a Blu-ray. This was a Steelbook Blu-ray for taxi driver now this this steelbook alone goes for like 20 bucks so i'll probably get rid of it because i already have like i think i have two different versions of taxi driver on blu-ray but i do like the steelbook it is very nice so i don't know i do kind of collect steelbooks not not really but i have a collection of steelbooks and but it's not like i i am looking for steelbooks you know what i mean it's just stuff i've acquired throughout the years of buying movies um we're gonna take a break from Mer mercari that was a mercari purchase by the way those four things uh and we're gonna go to best buy best buy had 
a bunch of PS4 games for like eight bucks each. And there was actually some stuff there I actually wanted. So I was like, you know what? Let me do it. Let me get some of this stuff. Eight bucks each. That's not bad. Um, so most of these are actually PSVR games. Or most of the ones they had on sale were PSVR games. There was a couple of non-PSVR games. I got three PSVR and two not PSVR. First game is a game called Smash Hit Plunder. I actually have never heard of that game. Uh, but it does say from Eurogamer.net, they said, Stands a very good chance of being one of the very best PlayStation VR games. Okay. I'll, I'll take your word for it. Uh, this one is Flipping Death. I've, I've seen this one so many times in like stores. Like just on the shelf somewhere, and I'm, I've oh I've seen it so many times. You have no idea. Like especially when I, when I go to Best Buy, I see it all the time, just somewhere in, in the in the like in the PlayStation aisle. I, I never even go into the PlayStation aisle. I always see it just like chilling somewhere. I'm like, it's like it was haunting me. But anyway, Flipping Death, eight bucks. That's not a PSVR game. Uh, Operation Warcade, which is a PSVR game. This one was just on sale on Switch for like a dollar. Um, and I bought it on the Switch for a dollar. So I'm probably going to get rid of this. Kodadama, The Seven Mysteries of Fujisawa. There you go. And the last one is Apex Construct. There you go. There you go. Isn't that nice? All right. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yeah, it's real nice. All right. So there you go. All right. Now let's get back to bundles. All right, so this one is, uh, you know what? I can't show that one either. I'll show it later. I'll show it later. There's a good reason why I don't want to show it right now. Um, but oh yeah, 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 I forgot about this one. I also bought this from Best Buy. Best Buy had this for on sale as well, the same time as the eight dollar PS4 games, uh, and that is Child of Light Ultimate Edition and Valiant Hearts uh, Combo Pack. Um, which, uh, I like Valiant Hearts quite a bit. I think it's a great game. And Child of Light, I still have yet to play, but I really want to. I've heard it's a great game, and I really want to actually play it for once. I, I played a little bit of it. I remember it had, like, I think there was, like, rhyming or something like that in the, with the dialogue. I could be wrong. Am I wrong there? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, it was 20 bucks, so 10 bucks each, pretty much. So that's not bad. Um, next, I got this one off of, uh, offer up for five bucks. That is Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Hell yeah. And I don't think it was complete. No, it just has the, it has the inserts, but no, uh, no manual. But five bucks, that's still like a $20 game, so. Next, I got this one also. I think, they were selling this one for five. I knew it was a brand new game that came out like a couple months ago. Uh, so I offered eight see if that was okay and and they took it so for eight dollars plus three dollars shipping so around like 12 after tax uh gigantosaurus the game one thing that sucks about this is hear that the disc is rattling in there but it is brand new sealed i've been trying to get it back in its case for ever like it's supposed to kind of like rattle around and then like kind of press it in gently but it just doesn't work it works for pretty much every other ps4 game i had that had that but uh, that issue, but not this one. So yeah. Um, next, I got another copy of Super Smash Brothers Brawl. I should have probably showed this before I showed Gigantosaurus, so I could bundle both of them together. But this one, honestly, I got for five bucks. So I have some. I have to start selling these. <laughs> I have a few of them. Um, uh, uh oh. See, this is the problem. I have so much shit just like all over the place. All right. Screw it. Uh, this one is another bundle from OfferUp. Someone was selling just a bunch of Xbox 360 games. And I was like, hey, I want these four games. And they were like, all right. And I, I got them. So I think I already, I'm pretty sure I already shipped out one of these games. I'm pretty sure I did. So you might actually see it during that little video. Um, but, uh, it, the game was Dragon Ball Blast, uh, Dragon Ball Blast, Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 2. I sold that for 20 bucks. Uh, but anyway, I bought all four of these games for five bucks each, so 20 bucks. Um, first one is The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings Enhanced Edition. That's like a $25 game. Witcher 2 right now on 360 actually goes for a lot, but this one is the Silver Box Edition, right? Yeah, Silver Box, um, which is, I think, around the same price. Um, next is Minecraft Story Mode, The Complete Adventure. This one goes for like 15 20 I didn't have it in my collection, so I decided just to throw it in there, add it. Uh, and Forza Horizon 2, which I already sold this one, so I do need to ship this one out. So, there it is. That is technically complete, so... 
<laughs> no manual or anything. That's that's where we are. Um, so that that's cool. And the other game was uh, Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 2. Uh, you know what? Before we continue on, though... Now, you know what? I feel like I should put it at the end so I won't... Sp because in that video, I'm pretty sure I spoil some of the other stuff coming up. So we'll put it at the end. We'll put it at the end. This is a very confusing episode. I'm sorry. All right. This one I really wanted to get. This is not even a game. This is a case for a game. But I really wanted it just in the off chance that I find this game loose. So I paid, I think, 10, 15 bucks just for this case. And that is Skies of Arcadia Legends. This game is like a $160 game now, complete. Uh, it is a replacement case. I didn't know that, but the cover art is legit. He just, at least that's what he told me. So I, I don't know, but, um, whatever, 15 bucks for that. I, I'll pay, I'll pay that. So there you go. It's a replacement case, but he said the cover art is legit. Sure. I mean, it, it looks legit. doesn't look like a reproduction. It looks like it's new. I mean, it's a OG. So it looks nice either way. I might, have, I, I might have spent a little bit too much on that. Because <laughs> the replacement art you can get for like 10 bucks on eBay. So if I spent 15 that might have been a little bit too much. If it is replacement art. Whatever. Anyway, uh, this one is not a game. It's another steelbook. I said I didn't collect steelbooks, but here I am showing another steelbook. Uh, Blu-ray. And that is a movie called Promare. This is a anime I've heard really great things about. And I really wanted to see it when it was in theaters. I just It was like a, a two-day limited thing, so I never got around to it. Uh, and now I have on Steelbook, Blu-ray, and I heard it's really good. So I figured I might as well just buy it. And, uh, yeah, so. It's funny, I do that a lot with anime movies, because I figure if I hear an uh, anime movie is actually like, legitimately good, then I know for a fact I'll like it. <laughs> so I just buy it. So that there's that. Uh, this one was a real good deal. I think I got this, I'm pretty sure it was like five bucks. I'm pretty sure I bought it for five bucks plus three dollars shipping. It's a sealed copy of Madden 17 on the PS3. Now, you're probably like, well, Madden, who gives a shit? Madden 17 on both PS3 and 360 are actually worth a little bit of money because those were the last ones on the 360 and PS3. That was the last Madden game on PS3 and 360. Um... So they're actually worth a little bit on 360, I think, and on PS3 used, I think they're worth like 25 bucks. Uh, sealed, this is worth like 40 bucks, and I actually already sold it. Now, it does have a little issue here. You, can you see the little, yeah, there you go, you can see it right there. A uh, piece of plastic is kind of falling off of it. Now, when I sold it, I put it right in the title that, that there was that problem, and the second picture in the eBay listing, or the third or fourth, whatever, uh, was that little tear, so... I think I'm, uh, I'm okay. If it wasn't like that, I probably could have sold it for a little bit more, actually. Um, but, yeah. So, that's that was a good deal, too. That was an offer-up pickup, by the way. And uh, all the brawls have been uh, offer-up as well. I don't know what it is with offer-up, but I, I get I get Super Smash Bros. Brawl. That's actually, I think, the third time this year I got Super Smash Bros. Brawl. So, alright. Now, let's get into some of the big hits. Some of the big ones. And this is where I, I I don't know. You know what? I'm going to show this next thing. And then I'm going to show the video. Okay? The next thing I'm about to show, I'm going to show. And then we're going to we're gonna cut into the video that I made last week. All right? And then if it spoils some of the other stuff, then so be it. All right. Here we go. Probably my favorite pickup. Might be my favorite pickup of the year. It's big. It's big for me, at least. I like it. Um, I like it. But, uh, alright. So, I got a bundle of sealed games on um, Macari. I still want to call it Mercury. Uh, Macari. I don't want to offend anybody. Um, by the way, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> I put that thing there, so I don't have to tell or ask everybody to follow me. Um, for updates and stuff, and yada yada. Uh, and just random stuff. You can say hi. I don't care. Uh, but I got a huge, not huge, like huge value wise, not huge like amount of games. Um, sealed lot on Macari. I paid ninety five dollars for this lot, which I know seems like a lot, but I'll explain why it's it's actually a really good deal. 
Uh, and I got four sealed games, and I got another game, which, I, to be honest, I didn't even bring here. The, the other game was uh, Mass Effect 3 Collector's Edition Steelbook, which is, like, worth 10 bucks. It was, like, a throw-in. So don't that's not even worth showing. Um, I have it over there, but it doesn't matter. Um, you might have seen this in my uh, Did Gore Get Ripped Off Episode 3, but uh, if you didn't, then... I got, a, I, got, I got a good deal. So, the first two things I got was the Getaway Black Monday, which is sealed. It's like a $20 game sealed. Not not great, but pretty good. And I like the series, actually. I wish that series would come back. The other game is Karaoke Revolution sealed. So, there you go. Seal right there. Even has the hang tab, I believe. Yes, it does. I think Black Monday also had the hang tab. No, it doesn't. But this one has the hang tab. I always like the hang tab. I don't know why. Um, so those two, that's good right there. That's like half my money back. But the big thing I got from this, I already sold. And I sold it for $150. I'm not going to spoil what it is. You'll see it in a second when we get to the video. But the, the thing that might not be the biggest thing value-wise, but is the thing that I love the most, is a sealed copy of Halo 2, baby. Hell yeah, one of my favorite games of all time. I already put it in a protector case. It is sealed, right there. But it is also the do not sell before 110904. That means this baby has been sealed since the game came out. Before the game came out. Over 16, well, not over 16, over 15 years ago. Oh, I love this game, and it's a really nice looking condition copy, so I think I'm actually going to get this graded, because because this this right here could go for like anywhere between $100 and $150, uh, matters on condition, but graded, I've seen ones go for like $250, $300, now grading costs a lot, I think it costs around like just to get it back in a month, uh, and get it graded and whatnot, I think it costs like almost $60, $70, bucks. But, but, when I get it graded, I'm probably not going to sell it. I'm probably just going to keep it. Because it looks really nice when it's graded. It has a number on it. It's in, encased in a thing. I, it just looks good. So, I'm going to sell that for sure. But now, let's get into the video I made last week. So, I can show you all the stuff that I bought and sold. So, hopefully that video is not that confusing. So, anyway, we'll be right back. Alright, so real quick, let's go through the stuff I already sold that I have to ship out before... I, pre I, I most likely already explained this, so... I don't need to explain it again, so let's just get to it. Okay, first things first is NCAA Football 13. I got this in a bundle of games. I probably already showed you the bundle. I don't know. I'm recording that after I'm recording this, obviously. Uh, so I have no idea. Uh, NCAA Football 13. I hope you explained this bundle thing I got, Gore. Anyway, I sold this uh, for 24 23 I think $23. Um, I think I paid less than $20 for the entire bundle. So that's a really good deal right there. Do I have a piece of hair sticking up? It feels like it. It's annoying. Anyway, it was complete. Uh, not in the best condition, but considering I sold it to, for like 23 bucks, the, you know, they'll, they'll get over it. Anyway, there you go. Well, not get it. I, I put that there's some issues. So anyway, next is NFL Street 2. Uh, you can tell uh, some of these football games are going for a lot nowadays. You got NCAA football 13, 14. Uh, you got um, some of the other ones that I showed in the bundle that actually go for like 10, 15 bucks. Uh, that head coach game, I don't know if I showed it yet. That one goes for like 20 bucks. This one goes for about 25 to 30. Now, this one has some issues. Uh, doesn't look like it has issues. Looks like it's in perfect condition, but um, the disc itself will definitely need to be a, uh, resurfaced. So I sold it for only 20. But I bought it for 10 so whatever. Um, next, I sold this one uh, for 24 I believe. Uh, Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2. Uh, Dragon Ball Z. No, actually, I think it's just called Dragon Ball, right? Yeah, it's just Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2. No Z. Um, I already have this, so this is a double for me. Uh, so I sold it. Uh, the disc has some... No, no, actually, I don't think the disc has problems. No, the manual has problems. That's right, you can't tell. Here, I'll just show you. The manual's like all messed up. Can you see? Well, anyway, I let them know that I sold it for a few dollars less than most people sell a complete copy. So hopefully they know that. Uh, I got this. You might remember seeing this during the um, during the gore the gore get ripped off episode four. Uh, I got this SP, of course, this flame red one. I sold this along with a copy of the Legend of Zelda Four Swords. 
uh, which I already have this, which is also a link to the past. Um, I already had that, so I, I bundled it with this really nice condition flame red SP, which does work. I don't have the volume on. Here, let's try that again. There you go. Really nice condition. I already have a flame red PS uh, SP. I have now four SPs, so I'm good. I don't need, <laughs> I don't need, I don't need any more. Um, to be honest, I'll probably get rid of another one. I have that black and silver one I got during that Gore Gets Ripped Off uh, video. Did Gore Get Ripped Off, which by the way, I didn't. Um, and I think I might keep that one and sell a one from my regular collection because I kind of like the black and silver. I think it's a... I forgot, it's like a limited edition or something like that. A dual color or whatever, which is really cool. Anyway, so that's actually a unique one. I might get rid of one of my other ones. But anyway, uh, 75 bucks paid for what I paid for the entire lot. So either way, I can keep that SP and all the games and I'll be covered. But most likely, I'm going to get rid of the games too. I just haven't gotten uh, rid of those games yet that I came with. If you want to see all the games, I'm sure I sh showed it already. So and if I didn't, I will show it eventually. Uh, and if I still didn't show it this episode, then I just, I messed up and forgot. Why is my hair all weird? Stop being weird! Anyway. Next game, I only have two more anyway. Next game, I sold this for 38 bucks. This game goes for a lot. Which is good, because I paid like 25 for this, a bundle of these DS games. And this one was definitely the one to recoup it. I, actually, I think I only spent 20 I don't remember, actually. Anyway, Fossil Fighters Champions. Yeah, well, it was 20 because, uh... Well, I guess 25 after tax and stuff. Uh, it was 25 all together, but not 25 for the price. Uh, Fossil Fighters Champions, by the way. Here, let me see if I can show that better. Yeah, there you go. That's going to some lucky, lucky person. And you enjoy Fossil Fighters Champions. This game goes for a lot. 40 bucks uh, just for the cart. Um, I think around almost like 50, I think, for complete. So uh, I do collect DS games, but I don't really care about that one. I find that one all the time. So I'll find it again. And the last thing, and boy, was I really, really considering keeping this, because it is in really nice condition. It looks beautiful, and it's one of my favorite games of all time. But for the price that I sold it for, which was 150 By the way, did I, did I say I sold the SP for 75 bucks? Yeah, I did. I did. Uh, I spent like almost 70 for the entire lot, so of the, S the two SPs in the game. Anyway, uh, for $150, I had to sell this, and it sold. I put it up. At like 8 p.m. my time, and it sold in like two hours, which was in incredible. Uh, and that is Max Payne, baby, for the PS2 sealed. This is a first print run. You can tell because it has a seal. <laughs> so right there, that's uh, that's proof. Um, and it sold instantly. Uh, it's so gorgeous. I love sealed games, but I especially love sealed PS2 games. They just look so nice. But uh, that one is getting shipped out uh, in the same bundle. I got the Halo 2. Hopefully I already showed that before I spoiled it. Anyway, there you go. That's all the stuff that I, I got that I sold already and shipped out before this episode aired. Or <laughs> episode aired. It's not a TV show. Anyway, there you go. Uh, back to me, I guess. Alright, thanks, Gore. Uh, you looking cute, by the way. Just want to let you know. Uh, one week younger and looking radiant as ever. Now I'm one week older and I now I feel like shit. That one, that one week took a lot out of me. Anyway, anyway, so I showed you Max Payne. That was one of the, that, that was like the big game I got. Max Payne for PS2 sealed first print run. You don't know how badly I wanted to keep it, but I needed to make my money back and then some. So I was like, you know what? I'll sell it. And maybe in the future I'll, I'll get it again. It's probably not going to happen. <laughs> but I love Max Payne, but I, it's probably just not going to happen. Uh, I love I love getting sealed games. Even, even if they're not worth anything, like the Getaway and uh, Karaoke Revolution, they're worth a little bit. I just the, the seal looks so good on the PS4. I mean, PS2 games. PS4, not so much. But PS2 games, just look at, look at, the, look at how nice that looks. I just love it. I love it. I really do. Uh, but anyway, Halo 2... I can't wait to get graded. But there's also a lot of other stuff I, I mentioned throughout that video. I mentioned a Game Boy Advance uh, SP lot. Um, and uh, also, by the way, in between videos, I did get that collector's edition for Mass Effect 3. So there you go. There it is. Just in case you didn't believe me. I, <laughs> I got it. But anyway, um, let's get to the SP lot. Because the SP lot was really nice. The other SP that I think I'm going to keep... 
Uh, I sold the other one. I, I, I spent 60 something dollars on the SP lot. Sold the, that SP that I just showed the Flame Ride one with the game for 75 bucks. Uh, this one I think I'm going to keep for free. Uh, this is the black and silver one. It does come with Super Mario Bros. 3. I'm sorry. Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Bros. 3. Which is a fucking stupid name, but whatever. Um, I like this one. This one looks really nice. Only problem that it has is that if you, like, move this a little bit, it starts to, like... It's not doing it now, of course, but the light will start, like, going red and stuff. Which, a lot of SPs do that, to be fair. But, um, this one does a lot. So, it'll just randomly, like, if it's on for, like, a few minutes, the light will start randomly going red, even if it's actually not dying, the battery. Because I played it for a good, like, 30 minutes and then die. And it kept flickering red and green, which sucks. So, I'm probably going to keep that one just for me, because I really like the silver and uh, black. I think it's Onyx and... I forgot what they call it, but whatever. No, Cobalt... Cobalt is blue, right? That's one color I need. Because that was actually my original SP. My original SP was the blue one. Or Cobalt. Cobalt? Well, anyway. Um, that was the only thing I got um, from the same lot, I guess. It was two different orders, but it was from the same guy. So, I'm going to consider it one lot. I also got this nice uh, silver and red DS. Which is weird uh the hinge is broken on it, which sucks but it does work let's see if it turns on yeah there you go does work it looks really nice considering it's an original ds2 it looks better than mine i'll, I'll show you that but look it look like how it hangs like it doesn't i have to move it up to make it yeah see that kind of sucks but it does play it does work uh just the hinge is broken so that sucks but it does look really nice considering how old it is and supposedly he did play this all the time, he, the guy told me. Um, so I got that and a bunch of other games for really, really cheap. Um, in the same lot, I also got these games, uh, which are Game Boy games. First one is, of course, Pokemon Blue. That was the best game of the lot. Uh, Tetris. Gotta have Tetris. What is this game? Uh, Crystal Quest. I think that's like a $15 game, actually. I was surprised to see that. Uh, the Game of Harmony. It's like a puzzle game. Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. Yeah, you can see it. Carmageddon, which I don't even see how that will work on a... Oh, look at that guy. He pissed as hell. But uh, I don't even know how that will work. I'm assuming it's like a top-down game. I, it has to be. Uh, and Shrek Fairy Tale, Fuck off or whatever it's called. Um, so, hey, for $70 for that just that SP lot, that's pretty good. The DS lot itself costs $40. But to combine them together, let's say 120 it wasn't, but let's just say it was. Either way, I got a good deal. Um, in the DS section of the lot, I got Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. This is a sealed copy. Look at that. And I got this Nintendo DS holder right there, or carrying case, like I said earlier. Uh, and it came with a, a few games. First game, of course, this is the big one of the lot. That is Pokemon Pearl. Which I already have, so I will be selling that one. It is an authentic copy, by the way. That one is actually authentic. Um, Princess Super Princess Peach. That's like a twenty dollars game. Pearl's like a thirty dollars game right now, so I could definitely sell that for around there. Come on. I hate that I have to get there. You go. Look at my crusty ass finger now. <sighs> another game, Animal Crossing. That's like still another fifteen twenty dollars game right there. Come on. I hate that I have to get so close for it to. Come on. There you go. And the last game, and I didn't actually know this was a part of the bundle. I think he just sent me this as an extra. Nintendogs! So, that's cool. Uh, and the case, of course. So, the case itself is like worth like 10 bucks right there. The DS itself is probably worth broken, like 25 bucks. But everything else, the games uh, are probably worth a good amount. So, oh, this one, I didn't even realize the teeth on the DS cartridge there are kind of broken off. But that's for Nintendogs, so who gives a shit? Uh, all these other games work, so... Animal Crossing probably 1520, Princess Peach probably 1520, Pearl 2530. So right there, that definitely made up for that Nintendo DS lot. And then the SP already paid for with the Flame Red SP. So either way. Um, so there you go. That is another bundle done. Another Dunzo bundle. Now let's get back to just regular game purchases. Um, I probably, I th yeah, I'm pretty sure I showed this in the video too. I got a lot of DS uh, games, loose DS games. 
It was four of them. I showed um, what the fuck was it called? The the uh, the 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 monster game, monster trainer game. What was it called again? Fossil fighters. Mm -hmm. I need to take a swig. Um, yeah, fossil fighters champions. I sold that for thirty eight bucks, almost forty bucks right there alone. And I think I only paid twenty bucks for this lot. So right there, I already made some money, and I get to keep all these other games. Uh, first one. Uh, of the four games I got Mario and Luigi Bowser's on side story, which I actually I thought I had but I actually didn't there you go No, I dropped it. What the fuck? How could I do this? Oh, can't believe you've done this. All right next Digimon World Dawn, which I might keep that one actually I'm back I really need to get a new camera. Because th this works for reactions. It it's just not great with anything else. Uh, and I got another Mega Man Star Force game. This one's Leo. This one I might get rid of. Because finding a case for that. I might get rid of the Digimon game as well. Because I, th I think getting a case for both of them is going to be annoying. I guess I could get a printed out one. But whatever. Um... This isn't a part of the same bundle or anything, but I did get a loose 3DS game off Makari. For 13 bucks. I got Fire Emblem Awakening, which I actually already have. Wow, that one actually focused really quick. I wonder if it's because it's gray. Like, it, ha it had an easier time focusing on that. Um, and that one I actually just sold for 35 So, I bought it for 13 plus $3 shipping. But sold it for 35 Made Maybe, like, after eBay cost probably like 15 bucks that's hey that's you have to get a bunch of little costs or like together and stack them together and then you know o over time that will actually add up to something really good um all right let's do this bundle real quick i i can't remember if i actually showed i think i did i might not have though i'm sorry if i didn't but i i got a nice bundle of football games um and it was a really good bundle for really cheap. I think I spent like maybe 10 bucks plus like $7 shipping. So like 20 bucks all together for this bundle. And it came with like three games I could easily sell for like 20, 25 bucks each. Uh, and I already sold those other two games. So the other two games are NCAA 13 for PS3. Sold that for 25, I think, somewhere around there. And then Madden 17, like I said earlier, that game sells for 25 easily. I think I sold it for 23. So I sold it for a little bit less. Um, so I sold those two games, but I still have the rest of the bundle here. So let me show you those. Uh, Head Coach 09. This is actually like a $20 game itself, surprisingly. Uh, the rest is just kind of crappy Madden games. Madden 12, like a couple dollar game there. Madden 13. Madden 14, or as they call it, 25. In a few years, they're really going to bite themselves for fucking calling this one Madden 25. Uh, I can't wait until that happens. Uh, you know what? Hey. Major kudos to EA if they call Madden 25, Madden 14. If they call the one that comes out in 2024, Madden 14, then kudos. Madden 16 and Madden 10. So for 20 bucks, I already sold, like, I already made like 45 bucks back. Head coach, I could sell for maybe, maybe 15 to 20 bucks. And the rest, I could probably bundle together and, and sell them for like 15, 20 bucks there. So I'm making some decent profit on there. All right. Um, now let's continue with some of the really good stuff. Uh, Makari, baby. Uh, I've been getting some good deals on there for, I think, I don't know why it's like, I feel like $13 is like the magic number. I'm pretty sure I bought this for 13 bucks plus $3 shipping. Uh, and that is No More Heroes, Heroes Paradise. It's like a $50 game on PS3 right now. Uh, and I sold it for, I believe, 45 bucks. So, I need to ship that one out. Uh, it is a game I would love to keep in my collection, but I'm hoping... Fingers crossed, when, when because he, No More Heroes 3 is supposed to come out sometime this year, I believe. Um, I'm hoping we'll get a re-release of No More Heroes 1 and maybe 2 on the Switch. Um, this is a really nice copy, and it is a game that I... If I collected for PS3, I would definitely want to keep, but I do not collect for PS3. Um, speaking of PS3, the, the, these right here, another two really solid pickups. Um, if it wasn't for the, the sealed game lot, this is probably my best pickup of the week. So, all right. So for $26 altogether, I believe, I think it was 23 plus $3 shipping. So really it was like 28, maybe after tax, I got two PS3 games. One of them was sealed. That game is the last of us. This is the original sealed 
copy. You can kind of see the plastic there. Really nice copy too. So that's awesome. Sealed copy of Last of Us. I'll take that any day because I love Last of Us. Uh, but the game that really... Uh, that goes for like 20 25 bucks, by the way. So that's almost all my money back if I sell that. I might keep it, though. The one that really, really was the big hit was another sport game. It's funny that everybody talks about like the sports games always like are worth nothing. But I think I've sold more sports games than anything else recently and made a hefty profit. This is included. I sold this game for $99. Exactly. Plus t uh, shipping. So, and I bought both of these for $28 bucks all together. Uh, this is College Hoops NCAA 2K8. And that is complete. It's a nice copy. This was the last College ho Hoops game ever made. So it's rare. Extremely rare. And it goes for 100 bucks. And I sold it for 99 So not quite 100 bucks, but pretty close. Um, so there you go. Damn right. <laughs> You damn right. <laughs> all right. Sorry for the pause there. But um, all right. So we're at the end. So we're at the last few games. I, actually, this is the last purchase. This is the last purchase I made. Um, this is a bundle of five Xbox games. And I paid, I think, pretty much what I paid with the, for the Madden bundle. I think it was 10 bucks plus $7 shipping. So like around 20 after tax. I got a good deal here. All right, so let me show you what I got, okay? Because building up to it, you'll be like, oh my god, that, that last game has to be good because all this shit sucks. All right, so first game is Fight Night 2004. Now I'm going to show you inside. Uh, a crummy-ass looking copy of Star Wars, The Clone Wars, and Tetris, uh, Tetris Worlds. These games are in there, by the way. The Sims. <laughs> Sonic Mega Collection Plus, which actually isn't that bad. Game's in there. That one I'll actually show off because that's not a bad pickup. And the last game, which by the way, I did switch the case out for this. So everything else looked crummy except this one. Except that's not the case because I switched the case out. That's why it doesn't look that bad. Def Jam Fight for New York, baby. For Xbox... Sadly, the least expensive version of Def Jam Fight for New York you can get, but still like a $70, $80 game. So, bam, it is complete. Boom, boom, spine, looking nice. So, I switched the case out and everything for that one. And that is it. So, I haven't sold that one yet, but it will sell. Oh, it will sell. Anyway, there you go. That is it. Oh, that's not it. Oh, that's not it. Last thing. Breath of Fire, the official works. I got it. Y'all didn't think I would, but I got it. Did you even know this was a thing? Well, now you do. Bye!